morning and welcome to What I Am. Your daily newscast the world, national and local news. We also have entertainment, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Nathan Bowman. The President of Ukraine is calling on anyone to help defend the country from Russia. Sales will be given weapons as more military strikes and explosions are carried out today. He is also pleading for blood donations, claiming Russia is on the path to evil. He just delivered a video message and promised to give updates every hour. Earlier, he urged people to stay calm and inside their homes after declaring a state of emergency and then martial law. The economic impact of a Russian invasion in Ukraine is unfolding at this hour. U.S. stock futures plunged early today, with the Dow down nearly 700 points at one time. Cryptocurrency is also taking a hit. Bitcoin fell by 8% overnight, but was back up above $35,000. Meanwhile, Meantime, oil prices are soaring. The Brent crude oil index hit $100 per barrel for the first time since 2014. The Woodbury County attorney has cleared the deputy involved in the January 12th shooting that claimed the life of a man in Sergeant Bluff. Attorney Patrick Jennings says Deputy Eric Fay was justified when he fired his gun at Michael Meredith after Meredith came at the deputy and hit him with a tire iron. Jennings ruled based on evidence from an investigation by the Iowa DCI and body camera footage from three officers. President Joe B Biden has approved requests for a federal disaster declaration for Nebraska and Iowa after a line of destructive thunderstorms and tornadoes swept across the states in the middle of December. Several Siouxland co counties are part of the declaration. When we come back, we'll give you a look at your Wood TV weather and your entertainment news. Stay with us. Dude, you do not look ready. Yep, I guess you're right. Have you watched the news yet? No, I guess I haven't. That's why you're never ready for the day. You need your morning news. Yeah, I guess as a student, I just don't know what news is relevant to me. Just watch Wit AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news, as well as Twalk every Friday afternoon. Is that better? I think this will work. The day we've all been dreaming of is approaching when life gets back to normal, but we're not there yet. So please, everybody, do your part. Get vaccinated against COVID-19 as soon as possible, because that's the best way to protect you. Protect them, protect everybody. It's the best way to get Iowa back to normal. Find a COVID vaccine location near you at vaccinateiowa.gov. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Spider-Man No Way Home is getting a release date for streaming on digital platforms. The box office hit will debut digitally on March 22nd. That's followed by a 4K and Blu-ray release on April 12th. The Marvel film has brought home $1.8 billion across the global box office. A crime-fighting goat helps capture a fleeing suspect in Henry County. A deputy was attempting to arrest a man following a domestic assault last week when he ran from the scene, crashing through a fence line and heading into a nearby field. That's when the goat that lives there gave chase, following the suspect into a wooded area. The animal helped the deputy flush the suspect out of the woods and into the hands of a deputy waiting on the other side, where he was taken into custody without incident. And now taking a look at today's weather, today we'll be seeing a chance of snow and we'll see a high of around 12 degrees. Tonight, the snow will be moving out and will be partly cloudy for the area. It will be a cold low of negative 7 degrees. And finally for tomorrow, it's going to warm up and actually be a little sunny with a high of 24. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Have a great day.